Prince Harry is flying in from California for the occasion, despite tensions with the wider royal family. William will also attend the unveiling, which takes place on Thursday, July 1. However, the monarch will be concluding her trip to Scotland, which is designed to promote the country's innovation and culture. During her visit, she will stay at the Palace of Holyrood House in Edinburgh. The Queen will visit charities and businesses in the Scottish capital, Glasgow and Stirling. Prince Charles will also be in Scotland when Harry arrives back onto British soil. Harry and William haven't met since Prince Philip's funeral in April, when they were pictured talking after the service at Windsor Castle. Diana's statue unveiling is taking place on what would have been her 50th birthday. The monument is located in Kensington Palace's Sunken Garden. Meghan will remain in California caring for her daughter, Lilibet Diana, who was born earlier this month. Speaking to the Daily Mirror a royal insider said the Duchess of Cambridge does plan to attend. They said, the Duchess has seen this project evolve from its conception and now to the finished article and undoubtedly wants to be there to support her husband. No doubt there will be tensions between the Cambridges and Harry, but they all recognize that despite the obvious and deep-rooted issues between them, they want the day to be solely about the Princess of Wales's enduring legacy. The Queen will be joined in Scotland by Prince William on Monday, then by Princess Anne on Wednesday. Figures released with the Queen's annual financial accounts revealed Charles continued to pay the Sussexes a substantial sum until summer of 2020. This is despite Harry telling Moors Winfrey his father had literally cut me off financially earlier in the year. A spokesperson for Clarence House commented, as we'll all remember in January 2020 when the Duke and Duchess announced that they were going to move away from the working royal family, the Duke said that they would work towards becoming financially independent. The Prince of Wales allocated a substantial sum to support them with this transition. That funding ceased in the summer of last year. The couple are now financially independent. The spokesperson refused to be drawn on the apparent contradiction with Harry's account, adding, all I can tell you are the facts.